Look, I'm taller today. I'm so excited. She got me sitting down, man. She definitely got me sitting down. I'm on a stool, so I'm higher. I got an important question for you. What is that? Do you think we should start selling records on Discogs? No, that's way too much work. Way too much work. I'm not afraid of no work. Uh, well, no, because see then, we've had guys come up with 20 to 100 records in one shot. And could you imagine having to pull all of them off Discogs while the guy's standing there? Yeah! <laughs> More work for you! Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> After about half an hour, he'd be like, never mind. Never mind. And he'd walk out the door. Yeah, we once went to a record store. And we bought maybe 10 records from them. Not even. And it took them 20 minutes to delist them as we were sitting there. We it were was done. Not fun. We were absolutely done. It was not fun. And it was like, I think it was 30% off in store. I guess, I don't know if they had the prices the same online as they had them in store, but it was 30% off in store. And then he had to sit there and delist them. If we sold records online, they couldn't possibly be as cheap as we sell them in store. No, because then you got to think about shipping too. You got to think about the percentage. Paying of people. Paying people. The amount of stuff that we have, listing it all online. But think about it too. Billy Joel. I sell a Billy Joel record, you know, The Stranger or 52nd Street for $3.99. As long as it's in good shape, no scratches, it's $3.99. Could you imagine having to look up how many, how many, Joel pre how many Billy Joel pressings are there? How many Rolling Stones pressings and Beatles pressings and Kiss? Oh we, my God. We look them up anyway, but not to the point where we're sitting there for two hours looking up one record to list it right. That wouldn't happen. That's kind of what you'd have to do. If you're putting them on Discogs, it would have to be, you know, the right one with A-CP- And God forbid you get the pressing plant wrong. Exactly. They'd be so upset because they're looking for that specific one. So? And what if you're wrong? I'm always wrong. It just, it seems like a lot of work. And I know a lot of people think, oh, you need a Discogs page. I really don't see it that way. Because if you come to our store, you're getting a good deal. Plus, with our expensive records, mm -hmm. we could sell them for whatever we want. Exactly. We generally sell them below what they go for online mm -hmm. because... We want to entice people. Keep coming back. Yeah. because You never know what we got. And you're going to get a good deal. And you don't have to worry about what the post office is going to do to it. Or FedEx or UPS or whoever. The number one reason why I don't want to sell on Discogs or eBay or any of this other crap. Mm -hmm. We buy from the community. We sell to the community. Because we love the community. So we sell a lot of records. Right back to the same people that bring them in. Not the same exact records, but most people bring them in, they take store credit, mm -hmm. and they know we got a hell of a selection. Mm -hmm. And we'll continue to have a hell of a selection no mm -hmm. matter where you put us. Yeah. So, I don't think Discogs would be for our store. Oh, but what about the money? That's what everybody wants. Well, what about the money? What do you think about the money? I think the money's good in the store because people keep coming back because they know they're getting a good deal. And they don't have to worry about what their postman's going to do to it. Well, that's the other thing. Now, I'm no stranger to online sales at all. I sell countless books online. Countless. I've, I've done it for years. I'm not going to stop. It's mainly books. I do some CDs, some records, some things. But 99% of the stuff I sell online is books. Because I can't ask $40, $50 for a book in the store. You, and you agree? Right. And you know what's fantastic? Getting a book back from the post office that they dropped in a puddle of oil and ran over with the truck. Mmm. Tire marks on the envelope. It's my favorite. No. Could you imagine if they did that to a record? Snap. But I have a lot of books. Mm -hmm. I've been selling books online almost 20 years. It literally has been 19 years. Mm -hmm. I kept saying it was 20. It's 19. 19. Yeah. Because we started this... 2000? Yeah, well, 2001. 2001. 2001. You know, even before we had kids, we were mm -hmm. selling books online. Mm -hmm. Not to the level where I am now, but we had to start somewhere. And I am not going to take on another warehouse for records. That won't happen. Do you remember the very first books we got? 
My old babysitter, the lady who babysat me, couldn't get a library to take her books. Was that the first ones? That was the very first ones. So she gave them to me, and I was like, what am I going to do with them? And I tried three different libraries, and they wouldn't take them. So I was like, what do you do with used books? That was the first ones. Yep. For you. Yep. My, th- my first ones is a better story. Yeah, but that was, I got them from my old babysitter, didn't know what to do with them, Googled it, was like, okay, I'll try this. I think my mom, my mom was selling on Amazon. Mm-hmm. She, she was selling even before me, you know. And I was like, okay, you, you made $12 on a book. What? So I got my books. They were free. They were literally out on the curb. Free, 100% free. I went, rang the doorbell, and it was a doctor who was redoing their practice, library. A urologist. Gynecologist. A a gynecologist, urologist. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So I took those books. She listed them online. I went to work. I was a waiter at the time. This is how long ago this was. I went to work. I made 200 bucks. It was a a great day. I call her up. I made 700. There you go. I'm like, I'm in the wrong business. So now I get pissed off every time I walk into a quick check Mm -hmm. and they're busy. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, a quick check, a Wawa, any type of... uh, A convenience store. I get pissed when they're busy. Because I say to myself, I'm in the wrong business. But then I've priced convenience stores and uh, I can't afford to do that right now. Yeah, it's really expensive. But it'd be nice if I did. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. What do you think about the whole Discogs thing? It just seems like it would get rid of the treasure hunt. Yeah, that's the other thing. And it would get rid of the customer interaction. And you know what? Online, people don't have to be nice to you. If you walk into your into my store and you're mean to me, and you're you're just a nasty person, I can be like, get out. You can't do that online. Well, here's the other thing. A lot of the times online, they sell. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, the person's like, oh, cancel the order. All this, all that. Change okay. the shipping address. Mm-hmm. All this other crap. Mm-hmm. I don't do customer service in the store. You don't want me. And I can tell you, you don't want me online either. I am not customer service for online. I got somebody who's very good at it, and it ain't me. I am not Mr. Customer Service. I'm Mr. Acquisitions. Right? Right. I'm Miss Customer Service in the store. I'm very good. Uh Uh-huh. I am. Better than me. I'm excellent at customer service. I'm either give it all to them or give them nothing. That's me. I don't know what it is, but I'm just not customer service. And the amount of work it would take to do something like that and do it properly, mm-hmm. 100%, mm-hmm. I don't feel it's worth our time. I'd rather buy from the community, sell to the community, and keep on going. Yeah, because looking up, making sure the right, describing it, oh my gosh, there's so much, there's so many things with records. So many things with records that you would want to describe. That's the same thing out. with books. That's the same thing. But I know books because I've done them forever. I know how to describe a book accurately. I know how to repair books, but I won't do it for anybody. So don't ask. I know how to do 10 tons of stuff with books. I even know how to flatten records properly. Mm-hmm. But don't ask. Because I don't do it for people. I do it for us because if it's valuable, why well, throw it away? And we've got a lot. Still, that have to be flattened. Uh-huh. And we've got a lot of books still that have to be fixed. It we'll never ends. It. We'll it, get to it. It never ends. We'll get to it in the next, like, 30 years. So, you've had a couple days off. Are you enjoying them? I really am. I really am. Guess what my big project was today? What? I Googled how to wash the walls. Oh, yeah? The most efficient way possible. Know what I did yesterday? What'd you do? You were there. We took our daughter to get a gala dress. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a video on her YouTube page. It's called Rihanna and Company. Uh, check it out. Who knows? You may like it. I'm kind of nuts. Yeah, but that was, what, four and a half, five hours of dress shopping? <sighs> Broken down into a video. Yeah. That's not four and a half, five hours yeah, long. Yeah, I broke it down to 16 minutes. And she made me edit the whole thing. I tried. It, but- was, it was a fun day, though. We had a great weekend. I think it's almost our last weekend. It is. I think it's our last weekend off. Mm. I think we got to go back to work next weekend. No. Putting the new store together. I can still take the weekend off. I don't have to open. You have to open. 
I don't know. I don't. There's nothing in this. There's nothing in the store yet. I don't have to open anything. See, get another weekend off. Boom. 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 Shakalaka. All right. Now what are they gonna do? They're gonna comment on this video and let us know what they thought. And then they're gonna give us a like, a big old thumbs up, because everyone huh? likes a thumbs up. Because when you do good, you get good. And then they have to subscribe, 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 subscribe. Ring that bell, ding, ding, ding. Because we do a video like this. Never. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm not selling on Discogs, turkeys. Oh, if I, I just... got something good, I'll list it on eBay. But I'm not sitting there opening up a brand new account that it's it's pointless. I, I, I just, I don't, I don't see the point. Is there a CD cog? You can sell CDs on Discogs. Okay. It's discs, so... It kind of means CDs and records. You could also sell cassettes and other crap on there, too. But honestly, I ain't doing none of that. Because, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm too old. But to me, Amazon still means books. Mm. And Amazon's always meant books. And the Discogs? Well, disc. A lot of the people Buying on Amazon disc, now CD are disc. not concentrating on books. Really? They're concentrating on building their own brands. Okay. Which is a whole nother series. Okay. Listen, do you want me to start my channel? I'll start my channel. I can explain the entire thing of Amazon. I've okay. looked it up. I've researched it. I have core products myself, which I'm not going to get into here. I got 10 tons of stuff. Okay. But I'm done. Okay. Have a good night.